Hello, Pokedudes and Pokedudettes. Welcome to um, a new series I wanted to do because I thought it would be nice to uh, sit down and uh, share some experiences as this is what I like to call Talking Smash. Um, there's probably a bunch of series like this, but the way this is going to be turned out, I'm going to pre-record some Smash footage and uh, just maybe commentate over it and um, also get a few ideas. Um, this is more of like a Smash Bros journal of some, some would say, but uh, I just thought I'd um, share my experiences as a a British UK Smash Bros player, um, especially with everything that um, could come into play as well. Um, let's begin by saying the UK's um, competitive scene, Smash Brothers, is there, it's just very small, um, like really small. Um, there's barely anything where I'm around, uh, there's like a few, uh, a few, um, locals nearby, but it's, it uh, takes hours just to get there, and I need something a lot more closer. Um, nice play by Luigi there, haha. Uh -huh. Um, so, uh, I thought I would, um, you know, just say that it's hard to find Smash Brothers players, Smash players from, um, you know, around my local area, um, especially someplace that's closer. Um, so, for me, playing Smash Brothers is more something I can do with friends. Um, but, you know, I would like to get into competitive Smash Brothers in tourneys and local events, hopefully in the future, but there's, there's just barely anything out there. Um, so, yeah, I, um, I should probably introduce the characters. So, like, um, player one is myself. That is my me, and surprisingly, it's the closest I can get my me to look like myself. Um, player two is a friend of mine, um, a college friend. Um, I don't know if they want me to share their identity, so they shall be known by their me name, which is Manam. And of course, player three is Ginger Nati. Um, who, spoiler alert, Ready. make sure I doesn't win, I don't win, so I don't win this, but the series isn't about how good I am, this is about my Smash experiences and maybe some uh, good, good old Smash commentary. So, um, here we have the villager destroying everything as per the norm. Just look, just look at those devious eyes. Oh, and there you have um, the computer player Roy, who uses the me of um, another Pokedude of ours. Um, might have been mentioned a few times, Pokedude's Ruby. And as you can see, Roy's terrible recovery made sure he couldn't get to the stage. And the villager takes the lead. Alright, so, you know, Smash Bros is hard to look around for here. So, I have to do a lot of my training, a lot of my Smash play, um, along with friends. So, like, this is one of the times I get to play Smash Brothers. Um, especially as a college student, it's hard to find time to play it. Um, I actually sometimes play with a couple of friends from college and we play the 3DS version so I get a bit of practice from that 
Um, but my focus mainly is um, player versus player Smash Bros. Um, singles, 20s. So um, most of the time I am playing on my own with um, level 9 CPUs. Um, but um, I've also dedicated myself to try and complete the game 100%, like get all the trophies and stuff. So I spend some time playing like Smash Run, um, Smash Tour here, which is really good. I don't see why everyone hates it. I know it's like not traditional Smash, but it's still fun. That cheeky little um, CPU there, making shrinking me while I hold a hammer. That is a large hammer. And uh, there goes Lucina, who's still alive. There goes the CPU. Revenge was taken. And of course, I have to do some sweet dodging skills to try and survive this. This is a flower smash, so this also gets kind of hard to do. So look, there I am um, as the Weefit trainer just rolling and taking a kill there as a cheeky, cheeky person. And the Duck Hunt Dog trying to get a hit in there, but failing because he's too small. Um, nice shot there. I don't know how I survived that. The amazingness of having a um, poison mushroom shrink you. So, um, yeah. Um, the way I get practice most of the time is through level 9 CPUs. But, um, I like to practice a lot as well with, um, Pokedude Silver. Um, sometimes I'm allowed to face, um, Pokedude Black or, you know, Dragon 7, the way, whatever username he wants to go by. Um, and, you know, it, it's fun just to play Smash Brothers with friends, especially when they all, you know, they all want to play, they all like to play in a, um, a tournament style rule set. Um, but, uh, we play a lot of two stock six minutes, um, no items with all the legal stages, and um, sometimes we turn on um, random characters, just to help, uh, just to figure out which characters we like, you know, um, get us used to new characters, see which characters we're weak with, um, just a bit of fun there. Um, but I liked, my, ca my main characters, I should say this out now, um, I'm, my main Pit and Dark Pit and I use secondaries I am sort of on the bench with at this point in time. Um, I mean, like, I've been using Mario. Um, I, so I used to use Marth. And I've started to use um, Mewtwo, who I do enjoy using. Oh, and Bayonetta survives. Oh, 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 and there's, there goes Link, thanks to the amazingness of the hammer not allowing you to jump. So uh, I think this is more, oh, uh, power out. oh, there goes Bayonetta, um, Mario gets that win. So, uh, yeah, I use, I'm on the verge of trying out new secondary characters. Um, Pit and Dark Pit are actually pretty easy, if you learn one of the characters, you learn them both, the only difference is maybe, like, the Electro, Electro Arm, the Bow, and... I think it was like the F tilt is different, but you know, they're both similar characters in the sense. So you learn the combos for one character, you learn them for both. But it's more prefer prefer preferable prefer preference of characters. So um, I, I prefer to use Pit more than Dark Pit because you know, um, how do I put this? Um, Pit's arrows are a lot more fluent in movement, um, less powerful, but I can use them and can get some pretty good arrow snipes in there. Um, uh, um, yeah, my secondary mains I am, are, are on the bench because I like to try out new characters once in a while. A lot of people do, but um, it's just trying to figure out like which characters would be the best in like scenarios that Pit and Dark Pit aren't. So that's when Mario comes into play. Very all-round character. Um, not a lot of weaknesses. A few bits of lag here and there. And 
can have an annoying um, combo. Which some would consider a true combo, which would be his down throw to up tilt strings to up air, I think it was. I think that changed recently. I can't remember. Um, I still haven't learned Mario's combos. But um, I like to use Mewtwo. Um, very nice character. Um, very powerful. Very fast. And um, very uh, beautiful. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, damn, that was a... The villager wins again. The villager way too powerful, man. Um... So, yeah, I like... Mewtwo is a very nice character. Um... A bit weak. A bit too light, though, for my taste. Needs to... Uh, no, it's still too light, a bit too floaty. Uh, it's nice that they gave him a bit of weight in a couple of pat like about two patches ago, I think. Um, so at least he survives longer, which, you know, that's what everyone wanted from Mewtwo. He wanted him to be heavier. He's good, but he's just too light. I mean, he's still a bit too light now, but Mewtwo is good. Um, uh, yeah, Marth. Marth. I liked using Marth, actually. Um, the only problem was that... I just... I just it's the spacing. I like. I'm a very aggr I, I'm slightly aggressive when it comes to Smash Brothers. I like to keep it close, but I also like to keep it wide diff um, distance as well. I know Marth's good for that, but in the terms that I'm going with, not so much. Um, I, I know it's hot. It's kind of hard to explain how I like my characters, but yeah. Um, and of course, well, I, I sort of used Cloud for a bit, but um, after a while, it's like. Cloud's a fun character, don't get me wrong, he's just broken. Um, well, let's just say when I used Cloud, I got a lot of, you know, the, uh, a lot of people weren't really happy because it's like, oh, hey, you're using an overpowered character. Uh, and I, I agree with them after a while. Like, I don't want to use the overpowered characters, I want to use characters that are, you know, mid-tier, maybe. Um, it's like playing Pokemon and only use, like, saying you only use legendaries, but, you know, you like using other Pokemon instead. Um, sort of the same principle, but... Yeah, it's just sort of the same principle of that. Um, so, yeah, I enjoy playing Smash Brothers with those characters, but, um, it, it's always nice to, you know, it's it's nice to try and cherry-pick who you'd be best with and stuff there. Um, Dark Pit appears on the board, I tell you. I think I'm going for this. I can't remember. This was recorded quite a while back, actually. Um, I was first given the, uh, Ruxo HD, um... And it, I just left it there for a while, while I was just getting the components sorted and, you know, I was comfortable to using the uh, previous one and this this is how the recording uh, come, came out. Um, you know, it looks really nice. I enjoy the look of it. Um, yeah, it's great. I know this, um, I can't remember when this actually was packed when this patch was... It has to be recent, because Bayonetta's in there, and... I'm terrible with Bayonetta. I'm very terrible with Bayonetta. I, I can get the combos in, it's just I still haven't learned. Victory via spamming the A button, thanks to that blaster. Maybe that um, tornado as well. Hmm. Okay, so let's get back to the game now that I've basically said what I have to say. Well, I could talk about um, the glory and why I don't play on that. Well, I should play on the glory, but I don't like... It, there's a different style when it comes to playing for glory and then when you're playing against like people in the same room. 
because you know when you're playing for glory you have to work around lag lag via having terrible um internet or so i don't have too bad of internet and my ds is downstairs anyway so i have nothing too major to work on Um, so yeah, I don't really play for glory. So, um, yeah, let's move on to the game. So it's round, remaining round five, and, um, at the moment, player one red has all the characters, um, the most characters. Uh, I'm not saying half those characters are good. You have some, um, bottom tier, some high tier there. Um, Ginger Naughty have a strong sense of characters there. And the lucky one, um, but now I'm there with, uh, some pretty decent characters. I wouldn't say Dark Hunt's too great, but he's good. Um, depends how you use him, really. I'm not really one for massive range characters. Um, Shulk there's Shulk's alright. I like Shulk, um, but the Monado Arts, like, juggling the Monado Arts as well as the match, something I can't handle. Um, I could handle it, actually. I have a... I done a um, for the love of Smash episode once, the only one I've done, and that was on um, Shulk. So, um, Boss Gallagher Smash, absolute love of Boss Gallagher Smash. They're actually quite fun. Um, I should really do these more often. Just trying to get like everyone dead, but the way you have to do it is by getting them off the screen. There you go, Jigglypuff doing a dip dance there. Little dance. So, uh, that was... That's always fun. But now I think about it, I think this was recorded um, around spring of last year. So, this was after the 1.16 update, I believe. I can't remember exactly. Alright, um... So there you go. We're on round three, and um, Ginger Knight has just got herself Bowser, and I have went straight into a fight. It's uh, pretty even, apart from a transformation smash. Um, there you go. Um, there's Bowser Jr., Duck Hunt Duo, Peach, and Mario. Peach is a really good character. Um, very turnip heavy. Mario's all round. He's good. But he's not that great either. He's, he's really good. I'm joking. Duck Hunt, um, range character can be very depending on usage of range moves. Um, Bowser Jr. is a very uh, difficult character to work with. Um, okay, um, so. Uh, just. Oh, Mario's gone. I just hate it. There we have. The duck hunt dog flying around and Bowser Jr. missing shot. Bowser Jr. is an odd character. Oh, and he's tiny and probably dead. Uh, a funny part about Bowser Jr. Oh, okay. Oh. Part, funny part about Bowser Jr. is um, if you hit him with the clown cart, you don't do as much damage. If you hit him at the top, you do more damage. It's very weird, but it's also pretty fun. Ah, oh, that was a last minute death. That that was just cheeky right there. Cheeky right there. Trying to steal that sweet, sweet kill. Um. Right, so we move on to... I'm just going to pause the footage just to try and catch up a bit. Um, I'll probably have to cut some bits out because I've been speaking a lot longer than the actual thing. Um, I'll probably leave this in but I'll cut the uh, sound clip down just to match up with uh, what's on the screen. I had a slight interruption while recording, but yeah, not everything can go 
straight to plan. Alright, so let's see, this is last round and the fighter shuffling is beginning. Um, trying to get those last minute characters in there or last minute annoyances like getting knocked there and having to go get Jigglypuff and going straight for a smash which was already set anyway for myself um I gotta stop focusing on myself and it's more so we got a warp star smash which is my least favorite when it comes to this um, I'm playing Fox my Fox is terrible that's why I don't really play Fox I'm terrible as Fox even today, I'm terrible with Fox. Oh, and there goes one character. Cheeky uh, hit there, and I rolled straight into the. So, Wario and the Duck Hunt. The Duck Hunt has got the advantage here for being metal, metal being harder to knock out, especially in, a, in this Warp Star Smash. But Wario trying to get the win there. It's oh the metal's worn off, so this is anyone's game. But the duck can't survive and get hit with a full forward grab by the looks things, and now it's back to the warp stars. And Wario doesn't know what to do, so he leaves it and leaves the CPU alone, so he can keep his character. Very um, play well played, and the CPU takes Fox, which leaves Red in the predicament of having the second least amount of fighters. Um, everyone getting their boosts, stat boosts are nice. Also get that pity character, there you go, there's the booby prize. And another character, which leaves Gingernati in the same amount of characters is red uh, with Manam having the most characters at six and the CPU with five and the games begin counters straight away from Corin Corin taking a lead trying to take out the CPU and countering like mad and there goes another counter thanks to the power plot of the villager Corin throwing out some fight F smashes and a standard Villager plants a tree in hopes that he doesn't die and tries to get the uh, CPU. So the CPU is KO'd, but Dark Pit makes a dumb move and releases them from their broken shield and then KO's them. And then tries to KO the villager and fails. So the villager's like, yo, you want some? I'll balloon my way up back up to you. And then comes back. So, the Wii Fit Trainer is now thingy, um, but Bayonetta, which has now become Bowser, and the Wii, the Villager has been taken out and is now Bowser Jr. Uh, I'm terrible with Bowser Jr. So th there goes Richard, who was taken out, I believe, and had, and is now playing Luigi. Corin's still in the runnings, and never mind. Corin has now become Meta Knight and has taken the drill to the face. Bowser and Bowser Jr, both father and son, fighting here. And here comes Tamash, Taka, Takamasi, Takamasi, something? I can't remember. And after a Bowser kick, um, Meta Knight survives. Bowser Jr recovers all health and there goes Meta Knight, crashing to the ground. But here comes Dr. Mario, try and save the day for Ginger Nutty. And there goes Bowser Jr. who failed to connect to the stage because big mistake. So there's Rob and Bowser's been taken out and has become Fox who is trying to do a drag down full forward air on ROB to try and get rid of him. In the meantime, Dr. Mario and Luigi has taken center stage trying to defeat everyone else. Rob trying to his best to survive here. Luigi trying his best to release the the chain chomp, which in turn takes um, Rob. And there goes JB Puff landing a rest on the CPU Fox, who has now become the Duck Hunt Dog. 
in the meantime, though, the Duck Hunt dog summons some kid from a Final Fantasy game, from some Square Enix game, without a care in the world. So, while the dog has superpowers of a superstar, and Lugia is sent out onto the field, while Jigglypuff is floating around aimlessly like an idiot. There goes Shulk, using a Warp Star, which in turn hits both the dog and defeats Dr. Mario. And there comes out Falco, who is also taking some hits. Shulk in there, trying to get some extra hits in, while Jigglypuff picks up some items and takes a slap to the face. Falco thinking it's hot stuff, trying to throw in some attacks. But then Jigglypuff goes and hits a failed rest, and then gets backslashed by a spamming Shulk doing backslash, until the Shulk is out and has become Yoshi. There is a bomb on Yoshi now, and it's now just hit Falco as well. Falco who just randomly hit a football, and Jigglypuff who's fallen asleep again, and there come the Pack Ghosts as a summon. This is it. Everyone is on their last feet while Jigglypuff is flaying. This game's winner has been set to sudden death with Jigglypuff not being in the running because not have, for not having enough KOs. So this is all Yoshi and Falco here. And Yoshi and Falco just try not to hit, get the hit, but Falco gets the dash attack and wins the match. So the winner of this game is Jinjinati. And Red did terribly. Very terribly. And as you can tell, his salty butt went straight out of that match and here we go so thanks for watching i enjoyed that so um that's all from me so i'll see you guys in the next episode of talking smash